Hey Cancer, this is Moon Pie. We're going to do um, your bonus love reading for February 2020. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Oh, cards are flying out. And we do see here you have the Eight of Wands, so let's keep that in mind. I'll put it back if it's meant to pop out again. That's Cupid's Arrows. Happy Valentine's Day. Lots of communication, travel, positive communication, and news messages coming forward. <gasps> popped out again. All right, we're gonna have to take it, Cancer. <laughs> Cancer, if you have Virgo in your chart anywhere, go listen to the Virgo reading because it started off the same way. It's too early to tell now how it's going to end, but we're going to take a look at the person that you're connected with to see if we can pick up on their energy. Okay, but again, February is a month of travel. Lots of communication coming your way fast out of the blue. It's like, what, what? I didn't expect this. What just flew out? Something flew out here. Oh, the three of pentacles. Okay. Um, somebody's watching you work, Cancer. They've been watching you work and they're intrigued. They're learning something from you. Hmm. Um, they're watching you. You're learning something new and they're watching it. Okay. How are they watching it? I don't know. This is a card of performance. This is a card of, um, you know, when the teacher says, go up to the classroom and, um, put your problem on the board and everybody's watching you are just like but I just learned it and I'm trying to figure out how to do it um but this person's got like a oh a deep deep interest in you cancer what's going on with you and watching you learn new things and start something new and you're building something and you're crafting something and it's the first time you're doing this and it's like so exciting and they're developing like this is the crush. They have a massive crush. You know, they just, they want to talk to you and see how you're, you're, you're making out and what's going on. Lots of communication on the eighth. Wow. The tower card, Mars energy, Scorpio and Aries as well. So some of you are rebuilding something in your lives. Maybe it's just mundane, like a house or starting up a business. Um, whatever wasn't working, you're starting something new in your life, Cancer, and they're seeing it, and they're watching, and they're seeing how it's like a shock to them. They're they're just so impressed with whatever it is that you're doing right now, which I don't know what it is that you're doing. What do you have going on? Whatever you're building or creating for yourself in your life, um, maybe you're moving, maybe you're building homes, maybe you're selling homes, who knows, but whatever you're doing, you're... Um, you're learning something new and they see it and this person um, you're you're both kind of I feel like they're going to communicate with you um, to see how it's going to see how things are going what these massive shifts and changes but they have uh, something going on with them as well. Hold on. Yeah. I feel like, um, Cancer, you're, this person, whomever they are, um, they want to, there's travel and communication here, but it has something to do with a work thing. Um, and I also feel, it's kind of a two-part message. I also feel like this person, um, wants to leave their home because it's been such a burden where they're where they've been living um and they just they want to just get out uh, where they've been has not been stable they're at the end of some so this person might be getting close to retirement they've been carrying these burdens or this the work has been a struggle for a long time and they're ready like it comes crashing down for them really it does and I feel like they might tell you that they're in a different position in their career. Um, maybe they leave a particular portion of their career and they start a different area that um, relieves them of their burden. Okay. They've had enlightenment of some sort. When it comes to this relationship, I feel cancer. You've been dealing with someone who's been 
um, very, how do I want to say this, connected to their work. And they're at the end of this now. And they're, um, they've been stuck in a work situation for a long time. Okay. Um, and they don't want to do it anymore. They, they want their freedom. They want to be free. I'm hearing these messages coming um, for you from them. This is what they're telling you here. Okay. They're telling you that they've spent a lot of time training others, taking care of other people in their career, in school, whatever it is. And they, they, they're just kind of like an old dog can learn new tricks. They don't want to learn anything else. They're coming to the end of this, okay, this time period in their life. Um, now, it doesn't matter what age they are. They could just be really sick of a particular career, okay? It doesn't mean they could be like of age to retire, but they're tired of this. And they are ready to move. They're ready to make a change in their life, um, to just break everything down. And it's going to happen, because the burden here, it's been a burden for them. They, they have put on more and more work. Um, they've piled the boxes too high to save time um, for many, many years. And now it's all crashing down. Okay, it wasn't stable. They just didn't have anywhere else to put these boxes. They started off, um, they communicate um, with good intention. And now it's like coming crashing down. And so they come to this place and they tell you, you know, I, I can't do anything else about this anymore. I've been stuck doing what I've been doing for so long. And I need to see things differently. They have like an awakening. They tell you they want to reconcile. They tell you, for some of you, this is someone from your past. They tell you they're ready. This is soulmate energy here, okay? Um, someone from childhood or um, there's an apology for some of you receiving an apology for maybe making you wait, I'm hearing, I'm not sure, for a very long time. And they want to reconcile and connect with you. And they tell you this. Yep, they've been single for so long and lonely, married to the money connected to their money, connected to their job, connected to their hobbies, single, 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 completely like, oh, so not fun. It's not enjoyable if there's no one to share it with. And this is what they tell you. They're tired. You know, they've got, well, they've got fancy cars, nice clothes, luxury things, but no one to share it with. And so here they come with that six of cups. Um, will you enjoy the fruits of my labor? They want someone to spend it with, spend that time with. Yeah, I'm tired of being out in the cold, five of pentacles. I'm tired of being in struggle love. I'm tired of being alone all the time. Oh, this person has a thing for you, Cancer, a little bit of a crush. That's for sure. Wow. Lots of communication, enthusiastic, ready to start, travel, let's travel, get rid of these 10 wands, go back just to one, and go back to that one wand and have that new beginning, right? They're making this decision about you, right? I mean, all this other stuff they're letting go of because it's just they're tired of the way they've been living. But now, where should we go? Where should we move? How should we manage together? How can we manage together? They, they're thinking about it, this partnership, bringing it into balance, weighing their options. Not you and someone else, but you, them, and now what? Because they've been in this, this Seven of Cups for a long time. Like I said, never being sure, never being committal. Always going after that with, with what they can't have. Always going after that secret or what's intriguing, what's behind door number three, you know, always chasing these visions of grandeur. And, um, you're a wish for them, Cancer. You're a wish come true. They've been wishing for you for a long time. 
They've probably never admitted it. They've been kind to you. This is like secret in the and within them. Having this wish come true. Aquarius energy here for some of you. Oh, look what fell out. Just like that. Proposal. Making an offer. Yes. <laughs> Sometime. Maybe around Valentine's Day. Will you take my cup? I love you. I love you, Cancer. Will you be with me? They view you, Cancer, as well, like this. Prestigious. Takes care of herself. Lots of money. Luxurious. And that's why they're making that offer for you. Very feminine. Very, very feminine. They're very, uh, just the, you bring out the kindness in them. Maybe they tell you they've been in a struggle type relationship with someone where both of them just can never really connect. They're tired of being alone. They want something new. And you stimulate them, Cancer. Okay, yeah, they've been suffering. They've been in like a mental prison for a long time. Emperor energy, they're coming forward. They're going to take care of you. I always hear that George Michael song with this card. I will be your father figure. They just want to take care of you, Cancer. <laughs> and there's a lot of passion with the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Wow, physical pleasure here as well. Lusty. Death card, Scorpio energy. Massive changes they're going through here in their life. Okay, Queen of Swords. There's a queen. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, going to give this person a hard time. Um, maybe it's the per someone that they've been involved with. They're going to give them some truth. Because I feel like your person is leaving another person to be with you. Yep, they're going to give them a hard time. They're going to say, you're just taking off again. You just free falling all over the place. You don't even care who you end up with. This how they're viewing you. I mean, this is, excuse me, the other, your person has someone telling them this. You're just always, you know, you got to be free. You got to be free. And, you know, they're mad. This Queen of Swords is mad because they're skipping out and shirking the responsibility to them. But I feel like it's because of you. Um, I mean, it's because they're just, the crazy about you cancer they want to go with you cancer females okay it's a lot of conflict for them to get away from this person and these two are going to have like a head to toe there's no doubt there's going to be like some arguing here but truth truth coming out um again Aquarius Libra Gemini energy but things will come into balance, Sagittarius energy, okay, the world, and the chapter will end with them and start with you. So it doesn't have to be a lover that they were connected with. It could just be like a sister or a female in their life that just tells them they just, you know, just gives them a hard time, gives them conflict about perhaps them going towards you, but... It is what it is. It just seems like your person is just at the end of their rope and they, they're ready to start over in all areas of their life. Make this shift. They've had an awakening and it has to do with you. You guys must be a great match. So, okay, Cancer, I'm going to leave your reading. I hope you enjoyed that. Have a very happy Valentine's Day and I'll see you guys in March. All right, take care.